and remember this that this formula is valid only for alkenes which have only one double bond you know there can be alkenes like if this chain would have been longer they could have been a double bond over here so this would also have been an alkene but the general formula for this alkene these types of alkenes is not c and h2 n so these type i mean if there are more than one double bonds you this formula will be wrong so don't use this formula for compounds containing more than one double bond you will not get more than one double bond so mostly you will get only one double bond or single bond or something like that but two double bonds you rarely get but remember if if you get do not use this formula draw the structure and then write the formula so this is an important thing now you must be thinking there should be a general formula for alkynes as well so what's this general formula now we have this alkene which is propene this is propene and we want to convert it to propyne so to convert it to alkyne you need a triple bond and to form that triple bond you need to again remove two hydrogens so that these electrons remain with these two carbons and they form another bond which leads to the formation of triple bond so this triple bond will give rise to the alkyne propyne see propene was c3h6 now we can directly write propene as c3 so h will be 3 into 2 6 c and h2 and so this has become propyne so to make this an alkyne we again had to remove two hydrogens from the alkene not from the alkane from the alkane we had to we have to remove four hydrogens two to make it an alkene then another two to make it an alkyne so when we remove two hydrogens we get C3H4 which is propyne so in the general formula we take the general formula of alkenes and just remove two hydrogens so we have CnH2n in alkynes the C number of carbon will re remain the same so and the number of hydrogen will decrease by 2 so H2n will become H2N minus 2 so that's why this gives rise to C3H4 C2H2 you see all these satisfy this formula N is 2 so H is 2 into 2 4 4 minus 2 2 N is 3 so H is 2 into 3 6 6 minus 2 4 so these are all alkynes and 
remember again in alkynes this is valid only for alkynes having just one triple bond and nothing else no double bonds no i mean uh, just one triple bond but it should not have another triple bond neither should it have a double bond anywhere else it should have only triple bonds and single bonds and the rest should be single bonds because you see again this thing when you make another double bond the hydrogen will decrease by a further uh, hydrogen will decrease by 2 again so this formula will not be valid for those type of alkynes so let us see what some questions what type of questions can come Now, if I tell you there is a compound C uh, ninety-seven, and this is an alkene, so what will be the number of hydrogen atoms? Use the formula. Alkene, you are given that it is an alkene, so it's CnH2n. Here n is 97, so H is 97 into 2, which is 194. So this will be C97H194. Now, apart from these, you have questions like we have a compound. C eighteen H thirty four. What is this compound? Is it an alkene? It is an al is it an alkane? Is it an alkyne? So just check with the formula. N is eighteen over here. Check with alkane first so 2n plus 2 is 2 into 18 36 plus 2 38 but number of hydrogens are 34 so it cannot be an alkane check with 2n 18 into 2 36 still not matching so it cannot be an alkene. Check with 2n minus 2. It's coming 34. So it's an alkyne. 